Hey y'all, my name is Mick. Thank you so much for watching this commentary paint. If you'd rather just watch the speed paint version, I'll put a link in the description and an eye in the sky right now. So I don't know about y'all, but I feel like I essentially have two states of creativity. I either don't have any ideas and I just have no clue what to draw, or I have so many ideas that I'm bouncing from subject to subject and anything that I make just ends up as an incoherent, unfocused mess. And I know that a lot of people have talked about what to do in the former situation and how to sort of build up your creative juices again, but I don't think I've heard anyone discuss what to do in the latter situation. So that's what I wanted to talk about today. I'm sure I'll eventually make a video about drawing when you're uninspired, but for now I wanted to cover the topic of drawing when you have too many ideas. How to sort of clear out the clutter of ideas in your head. So my number one suggestion is to not let your ideas pile up. This doesn't always work, I know, sometimes you're just hit with a sudden bout of inspiration and you get like a dozen ideas all at once, and there's nothing you can really do to prevent that, but what I suggest you do anytime you get an idea is to write it down, because one, you won't forget any ideas, and two, you'll be able to keep all of your ideas separate. I think that some problems that arise from having too many ideas is I think that some problems that arise from having too many ideas at once is you decide to pursue one idea and then you end up forgetting all of the other ideas that you had, or you have multiple ideas at once and when you go to make the piece you end up combining the ideas and just adding more and more to the piece and the finished product looks busy and muddled and indecipherable. I write down all of my ideas in my sketchbook, I think I'm going to mention this in every video, but you should carry a sketchbook around with you at all times. You never know when inspiration is going to strike. I have my sketchbook here, and in it I jotted down the idea for this piece um, at least a month and a half ago, maybe more, and I didn't make the piece until last week. Sometimes my ideas sit in the sketchbook for even longer, but all I wrote down for this piece was Summer Hat Syra. I didn't need to write down anything else. And just these couple of pages that I'm pretty sure I made all on the same day really represent the value of having a sketchbook just to get ideas out of your head. Because, like I said, on one page I've got a dozen or so ideas for pieces I wanted to make for Midsummer Week, and then I did a bunch of thumbnails for one specific day of Midsummer Week that I wanted to do a traditional painting for. And I did do a painting for, I just didn't finish it, and it has been staring at me this whole video. But I just sketched out every idea that I had until my brain quieted down a bit because it was just buzzing with so many different ideas of things that I could have done for that day. And then I did composition maps for the thumbnails that I liked the best, still very rough and undetailed, still something that I just wanted to make so that when it came time to actually paint the thing, I would just be able to look at my sketchbook and have my ideas ready and not worry about adding anything new or forgetting any of the other ideas that I had. And then I have thumbnails for a different piece that I wanted to make with a list of imagery that I wanted to incorporate in that piece somehow so that when I was thumbnailing I could pick and choose from the list and find out what worked best, and on that same page I have a list of sticker ideas that I wanted to make, uh, and then on the next page I wrote some weird poem that I wanted to make a comic out of, and then I thumbnailed that comic with variations for each panel because I didn't want to forget the ideas for composition that I had. All that in one day. That day was not a day where I could have made a finished, completely polished piece. I just had too many ideas bouncing around in my head, and I was bouncing around between ideas, Anything that I would have made that day would have been as busy and as unfocused as I was. But because I did these thumbnails and I wrote these things down, I was able to come back to these pages when I was a bit, you know, actually a lot more calm, and find these individual ideas and develop them without muddying them up with all these other ideas that I had. And after letting these ideas sit for a while, I can come back with a clear head and determine if they're good ideas or not, and decide which of the ideas is best to pursue. Another thing that I think helps when you have too many ideas is to go through the entire design process. I think that any piece can benefit from going through the design process. I didn't go through it for this piece and it clearly suffered because of that, but it is especially good when you have a lot of ideas, because every step of the design process helps you refine your idea and determine which aspects of a piece are necessary and are adding value to the piece and which aspects aren't and can or should be removed. And the design process is normally associated with, like, landscape compositions or creating scenes and things like that, but it's also good for completely different types of design. 
it's amazing for character design, for example, because I think in character design, it's more natural to just add unnecessary ideas to a character. Like, say you have three different ideas for a character. Maybe you want to make a cat character, and a spy character, and an angel character. In character design, it's so much easier to just combine all of those ideas into one angel, cat, spy, even if they would work better as three different characters. Whereas if you're composing an image, instead of making a reference sheet and a backstory, but you still have those same ideas of making an image with a cat and an image with an angel and an image with a spy, it's much more natural to separate those ideas out into two or three different compositions. But with both of those examples, the design process would help because it allows you to determine what aspects of the piece are working and isolate the best ideas. It can even help you determine that all of those ideas would do better on their own rather than combined. I think ultimately what's important to remember is that you don't have to use every idea that you have, and the more time that you spend working on and developing an idea, the more refined that it gets and the better the final product. You should keep track of your ideas as they come, but don't be afraid to let go of them, especially if letting go of them will lead you to a more focused and finished product. Using every single idea that you have can make characters you design feel as convoluted as a 12-year-old's Mary Sue Sonic OC and make scenes you draw so unfocused and cluttered that they resemble an I Spy or a Where's Waldo page. I think that about wraps up my thoughts. Talk to y'all in my next video. Bye!